So look, the natural tendency, I understand, and I'm not going to now invalidate a person's feelings after you see something like that, the, the fury, the anger, the, the need for vengeance, the kameh, shem yimkom domam, that God should avenge their blood, and so on. However, we also have the mission of b'nefele vecha al tismach, that we should, not, we should not celebrate when even our enemies fall. We cry. We cry that human beings created in the divine image can stoop to such low levels to behave like this. A criminal that you put in prison or a criminal that deserves capital punishment for whatever crime, the crimes that deserve capital punishment, we're not happy. We cry for the fact that a person came to such a point there was no choice but to lock them up to prevent further damage or to kill them if need be in self-defense. So we're not, we're not, we don't celebrate. Yes, there's an element of feeling free that we don't have to have that threat over us. So it's part of what a human being has to work on and it's part of what Judaism teaches us. That sometimes you have to go to war, but remember, David HaMelech went to wars and Hashem said, but you can't build my base because there's blood on your hands, even though it was justifiable. Shimon and Levi did what they did in Shechem, but still there was critique. Why? Because we are a path. The Teda came to bring peace in this world. Sometimes to create, to bring peace, you need to be strong and need to fight the enemy. You need to go all the way, as I mentioned. But even when we do, we have to always keep our minds. We're not becoming warriors. It's outside of us. We do it because we need to do it. The Neshama comes down to this world to fight the darkness of this world, but it's not. we're not fighters. We do it because it's part of creating a a home for God in this world. And that's an important distinction. Because on the other hand, we also don't turn the other cheek and say, let's not do anything. No, that's not correct either. So finding that balance is not easy. To both do what has to be done, even militarily, but always maintain your humanity, your divinity. Because you're always above and higher. We're not defined by it. Ultimately, as we've heard from many people who went through the Holocaust, who were furious. They lost entire families. You can imagine how much our blood burns, how much their blood burns. And yet many will say, my revenge? My revenge is, and they open up a photo album of their children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren. Because that's the ultimate goal. But you have to fight the war while it's there. So that's what we need to work on. Someone's going to tell me they were happy. I will say, I understand your feeling. But ultimately, remember, it's not just about getting even, not even about destroying them. It's by building a better world, because that's ultimately the goal here, to protect innocent people and protect them from themselves also. They're just beyond, they've gone beyond the pale. And with all the calculations, the calculations that people are explaining and justifying and so on. 